What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Back up in the garage. Appreciate you guys kicking it for another project. Uh, if you've been following along, today we're going to be starting uh, our restoration process on these discontinued TRD grill for the daily 04 Matrix XRS. And shout out to Jimmy, Ty2ZZ. Uh, once again for sourcing these out and sending them to me. It is the version with fog light cutouts. The grill definitely been, you know, it's been around. It looks like it's been painted once before. Uh, you can see some pitting, some minor oxidation. Our goal is to sand everything down to the bare aluminum, hit it with some etching primer, wet sand it again for like a smooth finish, spray it with some enamel that's meant for metal painting. And then we're gonna clear coat them with the appropriate clear coat. My plan of attack in doing this is uh, we're gonna sand down in stages. So I got a variety of sandpapers here. I got 80 grit, 180 grit, 600 grit. After all that, I will clean them up. And I do have some uh, ultra, like some real fine, like 1200 grit wet dry sandpaper that I'm gonna. Uh, do in between coats of that etching primer to get a real smooth surface. Alright, so I'm just gonna start this by literally like heavily spraying this down with just some simple green to see how much crap we can get off of with just the cleaner. Alright, so I got these cleaned up pretty good. Uh, a lot of the grease residue is off, uh, a lot of the dirt feels clean. So now we can jump to our first level of standing. 80 grit. Now on this uh, first level of sanding, uh, you can kind of just go to town. Uh, I'm going to take care not to scratch this uh, little vinyl covered part where it says TRD. And my main goal here is just to get all the material off. So all this uh, leftover gunky residue, uh, I want to get this down to the bare metal. And it's okay if it's a little scratched up because uh, we're going to sand after it with a higher grit to Gotta smooth out those deep scratches. This is uh, pretty much what it looks like after my first pass with the 80 grit sandpaper. It's really efficient at taking off the old material. You can see that, you know, there's definitely scratch marks and we're gonna be going over this again uh, with my next step up. Hardest part was getting into these nook and crannies around the TRD logo. And what I did was I took a pick wrapped a little bit of sandpaper around it and used it to you know, get get in here. The longer you take prepping your surface, uh, the better the results are going to be. So definitely don't rush it. Learn from experience. I've rushed it before and you end up having like shitty results. So definitely take your time. That little bit definitely, you know, going the extra mile definitely shows with the finished product. So now that we've gone most of this material off, with that 80 grit, moving up to our next level, 180. And this is basically gonna get rid of the deeper imperfections we left behind with the 80 grit. And the goal is to continuously move up in grits to get a nice smooth surface. This is a quick look at exactly like what we're trying to accomplish. On the left side is uh, what we hit with the 180 grit. And that darker portion, that is what uh, we hit with the 80. So you can see we're making a difference here. It doesn't take really much time um, for the second stage of sanding. We're just gonna keep at it till we get this uh, smoother finish and progressively move up in grit till we get it uh, even smoother before we lay down our primer. And so we got through our three stages of sanding, wiped down our surface and now it's all clean. Now we're ready to start uh, building up to painting this thing. So first off we got some Rust-Oleum Sandable Automotive Primer. For the color, I'm using this uh, Duplicolor Engine Enamel. It's a low gloss black. And then I'm gonna follow it with the Duplicolor 1K Clear. So hopefully in this order, uh, we'll have a nice smooth finish and hopefully it'll last a while. When you apply the primer, uh, you wanna go you want to spray from end to end and we're doing a couple light coats until this whole thing's covered and then once the whole thing's covered uh, we're going to hit it with uh, more of a medium wet coat we want the primer to build up so we can sand back down for a nice smooth surface and all those little micro scratches that were left from the sanding process 
uh, should be filled in. All right, guys, it's tomorrow, and I love how these turned out. We got our primer laid down. Everything looks real smooth. It's looking good. Just like this. Our prep work is definitely paying off. Uh, the time we spent sanding and going up through the stages really smoothed out the surface. So before we start laying down this uh, color, we're gonna wet sand all these like tiny imperfections. We're gonna use this 1200 grit sandpaper, the spray bottle, and we're just gonna smooth out all these little bumps. And after that, we're gonna dry everything off uh, with a microfiber towel uh, before we start laying down our uh, color. All right, so we just got through painting all of our parts and now they've been drying for about 30 minutes, about 45 minutes. So now we're gonna hit it with the clear coat. I'm gonna give it to my can shaker. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. We're gonna get demonetized. You can't sing. We're gonna let that shake for about five minutes. Come on, shake faster. All right, we just got done laying down our about three coats of clear. All right, here I'm installing this vinyl overlay by Import Equipment. Link in the description. You want to lubricate the sticky side and the surface you're adhering it to. You want to squeegee out all the air bubbles. I used a credit card and a piece of felt. You could use heat to help this uh, stick better, but it was like 100 degrees outside, so I didn't do that. All right. That's not bad. Check that out. This thing's finally all done, ready to install. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up the car, install this, and enjoy. All right guys, that's it. Appreciate you guys sticking through the video. Hopefully this helped you get through your paint project. Keep driving those slow cars fast. Pass on the left.